Deep in the Sutherland Shire, Endeavour Sports High School is preparing for a visit by two of its most accomplished alumni. It's a deliberate initiative by the school's leadership to channel the success of former students into the current cohort. Well, I left would be a touch over 10 years now, so well over, over a decade. It's changed a little bit. Very good to be back, very good to be back. I definitely felt when I first enrolled to come here that I probably would have been doing a little bit more sport than I actually did. The only difference was actually the access to higher quality coaching and you know the access to people that can actually make you a better sportsman or, or sportswoman. A few trophies, gee whiz. School's been busy. Good old times. Mate, geez that was a while ago now. 2003, four. Yeah. It was, that was the year I left in 2003 so oh, wow. we obviously didn't win in 2003. <laughs> And we got some familiar faces there, still mates with a few of those blokes, yeah. I got to grow up and go to school with a lot of kids that had common interests to me, you know, that followed sport, that were interested in sport, in particular cricket, which is what I played, obviously. For a lot of kids, it's quite a difficult time, as you know, um, to have people around you with common interests that you could relate to was, I guess, very beneficial. It's good, it's good they're moving forward. So I have noticed a few more buildings have been put up. Yeah, the facilities look amazing. We're always lucky with the coaches, but now, like, obviously now you've got the coaches and the facilities, which is fantastic. For Australian cricket representative yeah. and New South Wales cricket captain Moses Enriquez, yeah. the return to his old stomping ground means a first look at some new features at the sports high school. Good to see you, mate. This is better than our gym in Cricket New South yeah, Wales. <laughs> There's obviously, like, a lot of, probably a lot more machines, but, geez, this is, you know, this is very revolutionary for yeah, for a high school facility, yeah. it's fantastic. Even the cricket's lifted since we were here. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, you know, I'm a little bit jealous that I didn't get these facilities growing up, but, you know, we, we always managed. Um, you know, I was quite surprised that a lot of these buildings I'd never seen before, so um, to come back and, and see them, was a, it was a bit of a shock, but, you know, it's fantastic for the kids coming through school now. Any fielding get done up here? Any fielding practice? Yeah, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll try to use as much as we can. With former schoolmate and head of cricket, Tim Laws, giving the VIP tour, it sparked some memories from the Endeavour old boy. It still smells the same. You know, I remember my first, my first day I walked through the school in Year 7, I, it smelled very differently from the primary school that I, that I went to. And as I come back now, over a decade later, it's a strange sort of thing to remember, but you know, the smell of textbooks and classrooms and things like that. But physically, a lot's changed, but you know, sort of got the same sort of feelings emotionally and mentally coming through the school. With a role of over 800, including a special education unit, Endeavour became an official sports high school in 1997 and since then has concentrated on empowering students both in the classroom and on the sports field. There was always the teachers to push you and keep you going education-wise. There was always the coaches to keep you and push you going sports-wise. So it was great to have, you know, both options there all the time. At the end of the day, the, you know, it falls upon the individual or the student to make the most of what their mentors give them. And, you know, we're always very lucky here at Endeavour to have great mentors as teachers and also great mentors as coaches as well. An afternoon practice session gives Henriquez the chance to catch up with a mentor of his own. BJ, how long are you, mate? Long time, mate. Very long, how are you? Yeah, very good, mate. That's yeah. the way. Tim asked me to come and do this this yeah. year. So BJ, like, like many coaching years, influencers yeah. in a young sports yeah, person's yeah, career, yeah. continues to develop yeah, talent, yeah, but also takes time to appreciate so, the work yeah. of a success story. So, a black, white and red one. So Thanks, Tim. Thanks for being a part thanks, of it. Mate. You'll be number one. Very honoured. Thanks, mate. If there's any questions now or through the next little bit, feel free to ask. Cricket is such a mental game. You know, your mental energy and not so much your actually physical and technique. So if you've got any questions going forward about you know, strategies to approach the game or even strategies in the game, just let me know. I think the major tools that Endeavour in particular had when I came through the school was actually past players or past international cricketers um, that I had access to that could actually let you know that it's not an easy journey to go from school kid to international cricket or, or to make a career out of the sport you're pursuing um, and how important it was to keep putting in the yards at school, education and 
I guess being a, just a good person. I had great access to good mentors, both off the field and on the field that kept a lot of cricketers or kept a lot of sports people grounded. <laughs> well bold, mate. That's, uh, that's the perfect length, that. Yeah. You know, you want to, you want to be asking the batters to drive because that's when you get the nicks and they carry, so. Me being here today sort of I felt like I got so much benefit out of having the access to you know, international coaches or international mentors and guys who'd been there. Um, and I guess it's my opportunity now to come back and, and give a little back. Yeah. If the ball seems away or moves, it can stop you from accessing you know, that part of the field. Yeah. So you sort of want to be able to stay side on. Still want to be nice and open here so you can, if you can keep this back foot almost a little bit more side on. Just because you're at a sports school doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a sports person. Even if you are successful as a cricketer, you're only a cricketer for a short time. You might be able to play cricket till you're 35 or 36, but then after then you've still got your whole life to live. So um, make the most of what you're doing at school and your education, because even if you don't choose to pursue it immediately after school, you will need it after your sports career anyway. Endeavour has enjoyed significant growth since establishing sporting partnerships with the likes of Sydney FC, the Sydney Swans, Southern Districts Rugby, the Sydney Sixers and the Cronulla Sharks to name a few. It is indicative of a front foot mentality from Principal James Kozlowski and his staff. Look, for me it's about personal best, uh, high, setting high expectations and doing everything that we can do to support the students in reaching their potential. If their talent is developed in the right way, they will have a professional career in sport. Uh, but for me, it's also about making sure that we give them every opportunity for success in other areas of their life, so that if their career in sport ends up being fleeting or non-existent, they've got a great education to fall back on. But they've also got to be good people and, and contribute to society in other ways. The number one priority of our school is maximising the academic performance of every single student. That's what parents want. They want to make sure that after six years, their child has received the best education they possibly can get. That they're also a happy, well-adjusted young member of our society. So our sport program is not about winning trophies, it's about individual talent development. So we cater for the individual. You know, last year we didn't win anything in girls football, but we had four girls make the Australian team. Now, for those who want to go on and have a career in sport, that's really what we're trying to do. Give them the best opportunity to achieve their potential in their chosen sport. But first and foremost, for every student, it's about their academic development. I've set a pretty lofty goal for my school. I want us to be the best junior talent development school in the country. And I want us to achieve that whilst also uh, obtaining excellent academic results so that we can be regarded as being at the forefront of delivering outstanding education as well as outstanding talent development in the area of sport. Kozlowski has identified early on the need for former students to be re-engaged with their former school to add value to the Endeavour experience. Young people crave role models who are performing on the field but are also great role models off the field. We're very proud of our alumni. We use them unashamedly as role models because I can tell the students how they should behave, what they should aspire to. But hearing it out of the mouths of those people who have been through our school, have been success stories from Endeavour and have gone on to bigger and better things. Hearing it from them is far more powerful. So we really like to bring them back because it, it does provide inspiration for our students. Awesome positioning. You're looking over your shoulder, you're getting out. There was one instance there where you played the outside player and you ran towards and yep. so you're, you're taking another body in and crowding it. Yep. When you play it and there's something... Teresa Polias is a former student and current captain of Sydney FC, whose initial impressions of the school were wide of the mark. I used to drive past as a kid 
Endeavour Sports High and I'd say to mum, I want to go there because all you do is play sport all day and there's no school work. And... But, you know, when I got here, it was different. There was, it's, it's a very academic school and our sessions in particular um, were always before yeah. school or after. They never interrupted any um, learning. You know, first and foremost, you're here to, for an education. I was always realistic about my football career, as anyone should be in that you need to have a sort of plan B and um, my parents, you know, drove that home with me as well. Yeah, good, good. Just same things, girls. Try and be proactive, yeah? And by that I mean try and sort of gauge the next pass, where it might go, where do I need to support next. Turn! Give them some information, girls. Have a look over your shoulder, Felicity. The winter warnings are the hardest for me, go. but... I'm glad you said that. Mm. The visit gives Polias a chance to catch up with her school coach, Chris Bradley, <laughs> who, unlike the surroundings, hasn't changed a bit. And he's quick to remind his former student of a secret training tool that helped shape her skill set. Where did we use it? Up? Down at the wall, down the wall that's right. <laughs> doing some chipping. <laughs> so, no, well, it helped me. This wasn't here when Teresa was here. We often had to play down the rugby league fields or down where the cricket over was. And there's a wall down there that, <laughs> that is uh, where the, there's a panel beating shop on the other side of the wall. If we got there early enough, Teresa and I could be knocking balls against the wall, developing a technique. But, you know, it's sort of our core date. There used to be a couple of the boys coming around from the panel beating shop saying, uh, you know, we've heard, had enough of that rebounding on the wall. We'd like to start our work. Could you move on, please? Chris coached me all throughout high school and played a huge role in my youth development and a, f a lifelong friend as well. They were very quiet. Were we, were we that quiet back in the day? <laughs> He'd help me out down there with my technique and, and those are tools I use now. And people ask, oh, how did you learn that? And in my head, I'm just picturing that big wall and Chris helping me out. To me, she's probably the ultimate role model we've got in this program. Uh, because, you know, I often talk to the girls about when winter comes around and we've got the early morning session, seven in the morning, you don't want to get out of bed. Teresa was always, always there. If we only had two or three people, we knew one of them would be Teresa. If I only had one person, we knew it would be Teresa. Remember the gear room up there? Is it yeah, still, still gear? There. Oh, cool. I didn't give it back. It's PE still in there. The metaphorical walk back in time has allowed both player and mentor the opportunity to share notes and swap memories. Yeah, how good's that? Oh, wow, it's so weird coming back through the halls. <laughs> Not only did she train well for us, she was very studious at school, very serious about her schooling. So she wanted to fit the training and her schooling, and she's done very well at that, become a primary school teacher, well respected in her profession now. And she was able to combine that with her football here at the school. So that's the type of value we want to have here at Endeavour Sports High School. Someone who's serious about their education and wants to combine that with, with their sport. The evidence is there. I'm, I'm now a school teacher. I went to uni. I, I got everything I needed at Endeavour. And that was being away as well. I was away with the young Matildas during year, year 12 for, for large chunks of it. And still, I was able to, to do well because I was provided with um, you know, the tools in order uh, to succeed academically as well. I just feel good vibes coming back and the school's in really good hands. I guess the scenery's changed a little, but it's all still there, which for me is the most positive thing. And I guess credit to the school because I have such good memories coming back and it's a very special place to me. It's um, fundamental to, to my development as a person, which is even more important than an athlete. The advice from Endeavour's accomplished alumni today falls on eager and willing ears. The school has changed, but the methodologies remain the same. Work hard and find the balance between study and play, and prepare for life after sport before sport becomes your life. <laughs>